the fertilizer section of the chemistry paper starts with question 1.10, which reads, eutrophication in water is caused by, and we know that eutrophication is the increase in plant nutrients that forms in the water that can lead to things like algal bloom. So by knowing the theory here, we know that option C is the correct answer because when the plant nutrients increase, it builds up in the water, which can then lead to algal bloom. So the correct answer to 1.10 is C. Question 10 reads, the flow diagram below shows how fertilizer B is produced in industry. And we are shown that we get a raw material to produce nitrogen and another raw material to produce hydrogen, which through process one produces compound A, which is in process two combined with nitric acid to produce fertilizer B. So question 1.1 or 10.1.1, write down the name of raw material S and nitrogen we know is obtained from the air. So the correct answer to question 10.1.1 is the air because the nitrogen is taken from the air. Question 10.1.2, asks us to write down the name of raw material T where the hydrogen is obtained from and that is most commonly found in some form of natural gas. Question 10.1.3, the name or the formula of the catalyst used in process one. And so process one we can see here is the process whereby nitrogen and hydrogen are combined, which we know is going to form ammonia in H3 which means that process one is the harbor process and the harbor process requires an iron or an iron oxide catalyst in order for that combination of nitrogen and hydrogen to occur. So our catalyst is either iron or iron oxide. Question 10.1.4, the name or formula of compound A and as we've said, We've identified this as the harbor process, which means that compound A is producing either NH3 or ammonia, name or formula. Question 10.1.5, we are now asked what happens or what is the name of process two? And process two we can see is where we start with nitrogen, excuse me, we start with ammonia, we combine it with something in this process to form nitric acid, HNO3. And the process whereby nitric acid is produced is called the Ostwald process. And question 10.1.6, we are asked to write down the balanced equation for the formation of fertilizer B, essentially the balanced equation for um, how we use nitric acid and combine it with ammonia to form ammonium nitrate. And so we can show here that compound A in H3 ammonia is combined with the nitric acid that we used or that we produced in the harbor process and that is going to form ammonium nitrate that being NH4 NO3. The equation as given there is balanced. Question 10.2.1 a 20 kilogram bag of fertilizer is labeled as follows 243 in brackets then x what does the ratio on the label represent? And that represents the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus to potassium. We can also just call this the nutrient ratio. So it represents the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus to potassium, also the nutrient ratio. Question 10.2.2. The bag contains 2.315 kilograms of phosphorus. Cal calculate the value of X. There are two ways in which this can be done. The simplest is to see that this bag is four ninths phosphorus. We can see that this bag is made up of two parts nitrogen, one part, four parts phosphorus and three parts potassium, which means that the bag is made up of nine parts of which four of them are phosphorus. We then know that this value X here is the percentage filler in the bag or the percentage of the percentage of actual fertilizer in that bag. 
So what we can say is we can say that value x divided by 100 will then give us the percentage. And so we can then say those two, the combination of those two and multiplied by the mass of the bag, that being 20 kilograms, tells us then that the amount of phosphorus is 2.315 kilograms. So once again, what we're doing here is we're saying how many parts phosphorus this is with our first expression. We're then saying the bag is only a certain percentage fertilizer, that being X percentage, and then the mass of the bag being 20 kilograms. And in so doing, we solve to find our value of X to be 26.04. The other way to have done this would have been to calculate the mass of one part of phosphorus and then determine that in the total mass of the fertilizer. But again, the method that I've used here is a far simpler and far quicker method. This, when marked according to the marking guidelines, is fairly straightforward as this is mainly a theoretical section. We know that nitrogen is obtained from the air. We know that hydrogen is obtained from a natural gas. We know that the catalyst required for the harbor process is either iron or iron oxide, and the harbor process produces ammonia. We use the Ostwald process with ammonia to produce nitric acid. And we have a balanced equation for that Ostwald process. There's one mark for the reactants, one for the product, one for correctly balancing it. And then the NPK ratio, or the ratio of primary nutrients, gave us one mark there. And then finally, a mark for showing we understand that this fertilizer is four out of nine parts phosphorus. Another mark for showing that the product of that value X as a percentage and the mass of the bag of fertilizer gives you the actual amount of fertilizer. That was the second mark. And then the third mark for getting that correct value for X.